on all applications. Good morning. It's Sunday. Unfortunately, that means it's the last day of the weekend, but it does mean football. It means time with family. It means some fitness, which I'm getting ready to do. Uh, we have a friend's Christmas cookie decorating party for like all the little kids that we're gonna go to. So uh, that's at one. So Cal had to go down for his nap pretty early, like 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna get my workout in real quick while he's napping. And then the day will unfold from there. We've got uh, the Rams playing tonight on Sunday Night Football. So I'm looking forward to that. Should be, should be a good day. But first we're gonna, we're gonna deadlift. Drink some coffee. Then we were on. If you want to remember what Jobs was trying to do here, he wanted to put the memories of a desktop computer into the computer. Yeah, uh, the reaction from here, it, it's, it was unlike it. Apple is going to reinvent the National Park. Now, the name of the river is the Mar Ranger Station. Now, every hunter has a line from the poem that they literally obsess over. And the, the line that seems to get the most attention is put in below the home of Brown. Everybody focused on the home of Brown. Everybody, every such that you speak to, they're going to say, we, if we can find the home of Brown, we can find the treasure. Like, a lot of the poem is... Okay, workout's done. It's 12.30. We need to be at that uh, friend's Christmas cookie party thing at 1. So I got to get inside and get ready so that as soon as Cal wakes up, we are good to go. Which, I guess he might already be up, but usually he, he comes out here. So he's probably not up. Everybody asleep? Yeah. All right, everybody's dressed up and ready for this party. One of the themes is flannel, so everyone has to wear, or no, plaid, so everybody has to wear some kind of plaid. Get in the car. Watch your fingers. I'll meet you on the other side. Coming? Do you want help getting in there? You do it by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready to party? It's okay, buddy. Did you have fun? Yeah. It looked like you're having a lot of fun. Got some cookies. Oh, I think Cal had a lot of fun. Got to play with all the kids. That was a fun outing, wasn't it, Cal? A lot of fun. You got some marker on your face. That's how you know you partied hard. You want to carry that in? You play hard. Hey, Cal. You got a marker on your face? Uh, oh, nice. Uh, marker caught me. Oh, really? <laughs> the marker attack. I I've got the fruit. I'm bringing the fruit in. You want to help? Here, take this one. Both hands. There you go. It actually was a really fun outing. Um, Cal got to play with some kids his, close to his age. So that was good. I didn't really film much there because, you know, like other people's kids, you never really know without asking, and I'm just not going to ask. So good rule of thumb is just don't, just don't film other people's kids, especially if you're going to put the stuff out publicly anyways it was a lot of fun we got to decorate cookies we got to eat some food catch up with some friends um but kyler was kind of like melting so instead of staying and playing games we decided it was probably better to come home 
try to get Kyler down for a, one more nap before it's bedtime and I'm gonna try to edit some video I know surprise surprise maybe play some Call of Duty watch some football the Rams game is at 7 so we've got a few hours till then just uh, rock out the end of our Sunday uh, so we got home we've been chilling watch the Rams game I'm uh, playing some Call of Duty with my brother-in-law and a couple of his friends the Rams lost so I'm really bummed about that I don't know how we lose to the Bears they uh, they showed up to play the other defense was awesome and our offense sucked um, so yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Sports Center get the recap of the games today play some Call of Duty while other people are on because Call of Duty is way more fun with other people but don't forget don't worry I, I'm not gonna forget about the pixel uh, pixel early breakdown thoughts clip that I promised to put in here I promised to actually put it in in the episode or in the vlog yesterday and I went to bed um, no last night I was gonna do it but then I got caught up with Call of Duty and editing video so I didn't do it but I'm gonna do it tonight so just just hold on let me shoot some people in their faces and then we'll talk about the the new cell phone uh, so my my Call of Duty session is going much better than I thought it would. Um, I actually got my first uh, first win in uh, Blackout, which if you play Call of Duty, you know it's like that's a big deal. It's a hard thing to do. So I thought while I'm still playing Call of Duty, I just died in a game. So while the rest of uh, the people are finishing that game, I'll talk about the Pixel. Uh, granted, I've only had it for a little over 24 hours now. But um, I've been using it a ton, and I really, really like Android um, the operating system. I understand that this is is as pure Android as you can get. Um, it's Android Pie, I believe. So there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of modifications to the operating system. I think my favorite thing about it is the notifications. I uh, 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 far, as far as the software goes, the notifications are awesome. My favorite thing about the hardware on this phone so far is the uh, the fingerprint scanner. It's super fast, super quick, and it's like the placement of it is perfect. It's like in the best place you could possibly think of. I'm going to turn this TV down. One sec. Uh, okay, so yeah, what I was, what was I saying? Um, the, 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 the best thing about the hardware on this phone is the fingerprint. It's super fast, super reliable, and it's in the best place. So far, though, everything works the way it does really on the iPhone. I get all the same apps, a um, little bit different layout on some of them, but pretty much the same kind of UI. So that's something that's kind of interesting to note is whether you use iOS or you use Android, most people spend their time on apps that are layered on top of those operating systems, and the UI just isn't significantly different, in my opinion, between the two. So yeah, highly recommend it, love the phone. I'll do a more kind of in-depth thoughts later on after I've had maybe a couple weeks using it. Uh, in the box, when you get the phone, obviously you get the phone and I got this, uh, this kind of like textured fabric case for it, but uh, obviously the phone comes in the case. And then the other hardware they send you is pretty generous. So if you're somebody who's switching from iOS to Android, they actually send you an adapter. It's a USB-C to USB-A. Um, so in theory, you could put the USB-A to lightning cable here, plug this part into your Android, and then the uh, lightning cable into your iPhone, and it'll actually pull data from your old phone. So that's really nice of them. USB-C cable is what it uses to charge. Google ships a quick charge power brick with the phone. That's something Apple should do, um, but they don't. Uh, but they really should because that's just for a $1,000 phone or even $500 plus phone, that should be a given. Uh, they also ship um, a pair of headphones in the box, which they sell these on their store site, Google's store, for like 40 bucks. So that's pretty good, pretty good value. Uh, just you know, for the phone, with, or to come with the phone. 
it's USB-C, obviously. And then they also give you a dongle. So you can do um, the 3.5 millimeter audio headphone jack. You can just adapt any of your current headphones to work with the, with the phone as well. And that's something Apple stopped doing, I think. So good move on Google's front. Anything to make life easier for the consumer, especially when you're paying, you know, you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for a phone is definitely, I think, the right thing to do. Last thing, I actually, because I got the phone two hundred dollars off because I got it during the Black Friday sale thing, I took that money that I saved and I actually bought some wireless Pixel Buds, which I've already talked about this in an earlier um, video, but. They were really good when I was using them before without the phone. They're even better with the phone. So highly recommend Pixel Buds if you've got a Pixel. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. I'm happy with my decision. Obviously, I still have an iPhone 7 for work, and I'm going to use that with my Apple Watch. So I'm still going to be in the iOS world, and I've also got a new MacBook Pro. So I'm still in... Apple land so to speak but now I've got also got the Android phone the biggest reason for that was largely because the pixel camera is just so good and it really is as good as everybody says it was um, yeah it's awesome highly recommend it for that reason if you're just looking for a smartphone that's a great value um, with an awesome camera it's fantastic Obviously, I can't speak to how well it compares to the iPhone 10 or 10s or 10s Max because I was upgrading from an iPhone 6s Plus. So anything really would have been a huge step forward. But in my opinion, it's still a really, really great camera. That's it. That's my like non-techy initial thought review of the phone. I'm gonna go back to playing more Call of Duty, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you had a great weekend.